All right, guys, we're going to finish these up with this episode. Uh, the Tamiya Soviet shock troops or assault troops. Uh, you can see they've finally completely dried. We got a little bit of a scuff on his boot we'll need to touch up. And um, probably do a little bit of dry brushing on the tunics with um, the similar color. And um, we're going to touch up the faces right now. We're going to go in with that um, oh, tan yellow. And we're going to check the consistency of this paint. See if it's going to be good right out of the bottle. Because I'm just going to be doing little touch ups. So I kind of want it a little thicker than normal. I went ahead and brought out, uh, busted out two not brand new fresh brushes and my new fresh uh, dry brush, small dry brush. So I'm going to go in with the mini brush and uh, get a tiny bit on the brush and I'm going to go in I'm just going to hit, you can see where the wash, or not the wash, the previous color was on there. I'm going to do the very top of the nose a little bit, top of his cheek, top of his chin, top of his fingers. Boy, that that fine detail brush, man. Let me tell you, it is really it's really fine. And then you always keep in mind too that you know as this as these colors dry, they'll darken a little bit more. It seems really bright right now, but as that dries, you got to consider the top, like the lights coming down from the top, sunlight. That's why we're kind of hitting the top of the fingers. Uh, tip of that brush is almost too fine. Get my good quality Fiskars. You know, to pick up when you pick up some uh, hobby scissors to keep on your hobby desk. These are excellent. Very sharp. I'm just gonna snip just that little bit off the tip because it was just like one hair <laughs> hanging out there now it's like perfect you can kind of see how perfect it is now it's just perfect for the par for the purpose now I'm gonna look at him look at him I think that's gonna be good you can see how it starts to get dark as it dries more on his cheek and like so I'm gonna come in and we'll do one more for you I'm gonna do one more for you I'm gonna do just the top of his nose I'm gonna do the top of his cheek a bit of his ear of his thumb. Make sure I'm standing in the shot here. Top of his thumb. Top of his hand. So I'm actually going to go back on this shot a little bit. Same thing with the other hand. I'm going to go right up towards the top of his thumb and pull down. Like so. And we're gonna come back next submit and we're gonna do a little dry brushing. Alright, I'm gonna come in with khaki. And we're gonna do a little dry brushing on the jackets, the tunics. So we're gonna go in a decent little amount of khaki. 
we're going to come in with our small dry brush. And we're going to get that good and on up there. We're going with our leader. And I'm just going to pick up the tops of the folds. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. After we did the wash, and you see the folds there, just along the very tops, you know, where the sunlight's hitting, where it's going to be a little lighter. Get some more on the brush there. And like the top of his cap, just very lightly, just to pick up the very tops, like the top of his shoulders. Oops. Top of his shoulders. And tops of this. It's really subtle, but it helps the model pop more. I'm going to go down along his folds, along his top of his jacket there. Alright, along the top here. Very nice. I'm going to go back and I'm going to probably get to touch up all of the boots too. So here we are, this lighter stuff up at the top there. See, we're going to go in more khaki, more khaki. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. Top of his helmet. Just the very top of the helmet. See, that gives that nice little contrast the light to dark as you go down his helmet on his the top of his tunic and his arms across the front just a little bit Kind of leaving his pants a little darker. I'm doing that on purpose. I want those pants to be just a little shade different. You know. Here's our other dude. Grab him. I'm gonna go with some more paint. Blot it off. Blot it off. Just make sure the bristles are all loaded up nice. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna go right along the top. And not pressing very hard top of the helmet, down his shirt, and this will help with that wash, and you see how I highlighted the faces, and this will help with that wash so that it's not just, it's not too dark, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it gives that nice uh, definition. And I'm not even touching the pants. I leave the pants the way they are. The pants are always dirtier than the shirts, usually, in real life. And then we come in with our guy that's in the prone firing position. And same thing along the top. And that one little spot that I missed, we're going to go in and get that inside good. Along his tunic there. the top, top of his helmet, and that should be good for him. All right, guys, you get the idea. We're going to do that. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to touch up the stars, I'm going to touch up the boots, and then we'll be done with this uh, s segment, and then we're going to cut away, we're going to come over here to the uh, paint table, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the top coat, and get these guys top coated today. Alright guys, we're back, we're going to do the final touch, this will be almost done with the diorama, um, we'll bring you back for the next episode after this is done, when we will actually have the plastic display case 
and I'll show you the flocking and the materials I'm going to use to, to get the diorama completely wrapped up and it'll be done. And then um, uh, look forward to this uh, video I'll be posting soon. We'll be getting the uh, German Flak 88 started today. All right, so let's go ahead and fire into the booth and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get this final coat on. Oh, micro flat. And I did cut it down with some of the uh, Vallejo Airbrush Flow Improver. All right, so it just flows really nice and smooth. And you'll see when we get, uh, get these done how uh, nice and flat this is. All right. push down you're just going to get straight air coming out you can actually use that to help dry dry that process if you want it if you want to you see how fast this is already starting to dry there's our uh, leader figure and he's already drying fairly quick. this small bowl I filled it a little bit almost up to the top and uh, it was plenty to do these uh, uh, five minis so all right she just ran dry Brush cleaner out here. Okay, 
Okay, so my finger in front. I'm going to get my, my holder, which is also a part cleaner. Put them in there. And just, we're just going to run the cleaner through. Now to keep the, uh, the booth on, of course, we want that, those, any of those fumes vent it out. Q-tip. A little bit more cleaner. Just like that. And then back in this holder. Got to switch off the pump, let the excess air out. And there you have it. So we will show you. Let me get some light down here. And uh, I'll try to zoom in on these guys and show you. Just how flat these guys are. In the shot there, Al. But I'm not sure if you can see for sure how clear it is. But they're not no guys not completely dry. Now here's our our leader. And he is No shine, and uh, it really brings out the definition of the models too. There you have it, guys. See ya.